Hey guys, Ed Bud here. This week I've initiated a short taper before I take on the Blackmore Vale half marathon on Sunday. I've reduced back the mileage and the speeds of some of the efforts that I would normally undertake within my running and I'm going to give you a brief breakdown on those training sessions undertaken this week. Firstly, before I get into the taper stuff, those eagle-eyed viewers out there will have noticed I've placed a vote up on the community section of the channel. If you haven't already voted or you weren't aware of it, please head over there and check out the options available. There's the New Balance 1080 V10, the Kinvara 11, also an interesting shoe from Solomon that I saw, the Sonic 3. If you've got any suggestions or shoes you think I should review that I haven't put there as an option, please put those in the comments on the community section of the site. I'm definitely gonna get hold of the A6 Evo ride when that comes out, so I haven't put that one up, but I'm very keen to see what you, the viewers, want me to review. At the time of making this video, I think the New Balance 1080 V10's got about 36% of the vote, and the Kinvara 11 was in second place. I think the Triumph 17, that was the other one I put up there, and quite a few of you have been interested in that, but certainly the New Balance seems to be the one that you guys are most interested in. I think my only worry there is there's loads of 1080 reviews already out there on YouTube, although you know that Ed Bud will put his own stamp on the review of that shoe. It's quite a lot of comparison reviews, I think, and I haven't got anything to compare it with, so it could be a little bit different. So started off the week, very light three mile run commute back from work on the Monday. Those dark nights are getting a little bit shorter. We've got a little bit more daylight throughout the day now. The sun's rising a little earlier and setting a little later. I think it's almost a couple of minutes actually we're making back every day, which is really great. It means I can get a little bit more running footage for you. That said, by the time I was about halfway home, it was starting to get a lot darker. Some of the later footage I took was pretty much a high-vis jacket, just kind of surrounded by nothing. We have been exceptionally lucky recently over here in the UK. It's been very mild, really, for uh, sort of late January. I think it was almost 11 degrees on Monday, so ridiculously mild, really. Especially when I think back to the conditions this time last year, when I undertook the Blackmore Vale Half Marathon, there was snow and ice and stuff around, and there's certainly none of that this time around. I kept things very, very easy on the Monday run, using the Pegasus 36 Shield. It was about eight minutes 42 per mile, so really, really into that kind of easy recovery pace. Keeping the heart rate nice and low, around about 133 beats per minute average. So this taper week wasn't to be completely devoid of any speed. The next day, undertook a six mile effort using the Takumi Sen 6 from Adidas. I had some intervals in mind within this session. Intervals are gonna be around about 400 meters, around about eight repetitions. I was gonna aim for about sub seven minutes per mile on those 400 meter repetitions. It was nice to get this shoe back on again. I've kind of been hankering to kind of give it another test out. It is a fantastic shoe. One thing to note as well, where I took it out in the sort of wet, kind of muddy trail that I used, it's really easy to clean. When I got home, I kind of looked at it and went, oh no, what have I done to this shoe? One quick wipe with a slightly damp cloth and it removed all of the mud and flecks of dirt and stuff that had stuck onto the upper. So interval one was pretty much spot on, managed six minutes 48 per mile pace on that first 400 meter interval. Feeling pretty good. I think those first intervals you always try to get into your mind, you know, what sort of pace, how hard is this gonna feel today? And it felt okay on that first one. But numerous stops and a turnaround that was required meant that the second interval wasn't quite so successful. Interval three was better at six minutes 52 per mile. But then on interval four, had some more difficulties. There was a big walking group and they just didn't seem to want to move out of the way. The second half of the intervals were much more spot on. I managed to find a area that was far less sort of populated in terms of commuters, people walking back and dog walkers and things like that. I think interval five and six were 6.46 and 6.45 per mile. And then 6.39 and 6.40 for intervals seven and eight. No distractions on those. I managed to keep the jog in between, which is, I think, 200 meters, I think. Kept those nice and reasonable in terms of pace. So a good, strong effort with some faster intervals. I have to say it felt good and exhilarating to do some speed work, some faster intervals, and to keep those legs turning over and keep them wide awake. 
think that type of run enables you to stay in that sort of safety zone where you can do some lower pace warm up. I think it was around about eight minutes a mile and some warm down right at the end of the session. But also get some speed work in there just to kind of keep you awake and psychologically keep you in the right place. I managed to hit a little above some of the paces that I'll need to hit in the half marathon if I am ever going to succeed in getting in under 130. So some good tests of pace there and it was really fun running in the Takumi Sen 6. It is a fun shoe, it does urge you to get onto that forefoot and really push forward. It's ridiculously light as well. It kind of feels almost like there's not really an awful lot there. Some nice steady pace miles midweek, around about 7 minutes 30 per mile, only 4 on the Wednesday. I use the ASICS Glide Ride for this session, it seemed like the perfect match. I think the taper plays a weird kind of trick on your mind really, where you suddenly aren't quite as fatigued from running each day, uh, more miles, you know, six, seven, eight miles per day, when you're back to like sort of four or five miles in a day, suddenly your mind's saying, well, hang on a minute, you know, what pace am I running at here? Sometimes you're running a little faster than you really need to be. Sometimes mentally you kind of think, well, I'm not really putting in that much effort here. And then you look down at your watch and actually realize that you're going a lot faster than you thought you were. The glide ride seemed a good choice for this type of workout, really. It's reliable, it's cushioned, and a very secure fit over the forefoot. I think those four miles just flew by like all the sessions have really, like practically life feels like it's flying by at the moment. I don't know whether you guys feel that. There's so many kind of distractions, so many things going on. Sometimes you just really want to grab the moment and just sort of stay there for a little while. Kind of thinking that about the race as well on Sunday. You're kind of looking forward to it and there's this big build up to it and then when it's happening, Sometimes you're just concentrating, you don't kind of take it in, you're not kind of enjoying it for what it is. So I want to try and mentally really enjoy the feeling of racing, enjoy the feeling of being out there and giving it my all. So heart rate on average was about 139 for that uh, 7 minutes 30 per mile, 4 mile effort midweek. I think I came in just under the 30 minutes. I'll put some conversions up for you guys out there who like those kilometre conversions want to make my viewers happy. So the last session of real note before the race Sunday, aside from a rest day and then a sort of easy three mile effort, was a four and a half mile effort with six by 150 meter strides. So I hit some paces between five minutes 37 per mile and around about six minutes per mile during each of those six strides. It was certainly exhilarating to do some faster pace work after all the sort of slower stuff, some easier stuff earlier in the week. Albeit that work was in tiny stretches, it was still really fun to actually sort of put the hammer down a little bit. Certainly top speed's improving, I think you'll agree. It's getting easier to reach those higher paces now. I think my form's improved quite a lot. I think perhaps doing a larger volume of running can really help with that form. You start to realise how to economise in terms of the energy that you're putting into the run. I did use the next percent for that four and a half mile effort and a couple of people asked me actually on Strava and on a couple of other things, I think it was Instagram as well, training the next percent, it's a bit of an expensive luxury perhaps, but no, and I look at it from this perspective. I think if you're like a guitar player or you're a pool player, of which I do both of those things, if you're using the same kind of equipment and apparatus for some of the training as you would do with actually a match, you know, like a cup match or something, then you feel more at home, you feel more kind of comfortable with that piece of equipment. It's kind of like sitting at home learning a new song that you want to perform to people on a Saturday night, but using like a different guitar, and then suddenly when you come to play it live on the Saturday night, your fingers are everywhere and it's just not happening for you. It's kind of why it was important for me to use that Next percent, just one more time. I'm probably not going to use this one Sunday. Maybe the other one, maybe something else. It will depend a little bit on the weather. But I wanted to get out there again in this shoe just to give my mind that kind of experience, that feeling of kind of comfort of how it's going to feel if I do use them on Sunday. In those strides, the cadence was up to about 188 or 182, I think, at the lowest, which is pretty fast. Though I can't really comment as much on heart rate, those short stretches were so kind of quick in terms of duration, 
And I don't think heart rate really says an awful lot. There was a spike, obviously, on those short stretches, but can't really comment too much on them. Didn't spike too much. I don't think it got much past about 146, 147. So 165 miles on the books in January. I've certainly put the effort in. I've certainly put the dedication into my training, getting out there, whether it's cold, wet, windy, or even milder. There's been some decent hill work this time around, some longer runs, and I've seemed to be able to manage to hold that target pace a little bit better than before. Certainly I'm ready for the half marathon attempt on Sunday. I've got another one, obviously, later in March. But as Delia Smith said at Carroll Road long ago, let's be Avenue. You may have noticed, I have my hair cut. I think it could save me maybe a couple of seconds on the half marathon. What do you think? Somewhat more aerodynamic, perhaps? I'm not sure. Certainly less weight. I want to give a big, big thanks to all the viewers who have been giving me their best wishes for the race on Sunday. It's much appreciated. I'll certainly do my best. I think, as I say to my daughter all the time, your best is always good enough. If you've got any questions about the half marathon training I've been doing or the taper sessions this week or any comments regarding the uh, vote over in the community area for the next shoe review, please place them down in the comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and you click the thumbs up. Give the video a like, it really does help to push it up the charts. Make sure you share the video with your friends. My name's Ed Bird and I'll be seeing you.